Good afternoon, and welcome back to our nightly look back at a specific day in history, where we take a look back at the events of a day, the historic context in which those events took place, and the historic ramifications of those events. As always, if you have not yet, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, and tell a friend. And without even further ado, this day in history, August 31st. And on this day, in 1888, the first of Jack the Ripper's five victims, Marianne Nichols, was found mutilated in London's Whitechapel district. Whitechapel saw four more victims of the murderer during the next few months, but no suspect was ever found. The police, who lacked modern forensic techniques, such as fingerprinting and blood typing, were at a complete loss for suspects. Dozens of letters, allegedly written by the murderer, were sent to the police, and the vast majority of these were immediately deemed fraudulent. The Ripper killed his fifth and final victim, Mary Kelly, on November 7th. In 1892, with no leads and no more murders recorded, Jack the Ripper's file was closed.